Hello everyone. Welcome back. I spent part of the day uh, downgrading from Windows 11 to Windows 10, and this is the first time I'm doing a recording here. And I'm just... I partially just want to see what's going on and um, just see how smooth things will be and hopefully things will be smooth. I this already feels a lot smoother than on Windows 11 on my particular Dell G15. So uh, we are ready to head back I think to the community center and we're gonna grab some potatoes. We're going to assess the weather when we're on our way there. When we get there, uh, and just because it's fine now doesn't mean it's going to continue to be that way <laughs> with this. So let's see. It's still morning. It's pretty cold. So we're going to head um, on this way over here. I don't think I stink at all for anything. I'm just want to double check. Yeah, I don't have anything that would make us smell. You see those wolves are not even heading our direction. Um, let's just get some... We have plenty of food, so, so let's just get uh, some more feathers over here. And then we're going to head to the barn. <clears throat> it's pretty cold out. So... Low on cattails, so I think I should come this way. We'll probably just build a fire and make a little bit of tea uh, while we're doing this. And I'm not going to continue to go down that direction. I think I'm going to leave those cattails by themselves, and I'm going to head over here, this direction. You see that barn way out there? It's almost like busted up and everything. So we're going to head this direction and just check that barn real quick for anything that we might need. Can't feel my feet. Yeah, I was checking online. Not everybody with Windows 11 has the problems I was experiencing. The problem was, and it was difficult to narrow down, um, I was having audio problems, first of all. First, first of all. It was the audio would be fine for a while. Never felt so cold in my life. But then it wouldn't be. <laughs> All of a sudden, it would uh, it would just start getting staticky and all that, and and I would just try to I would just try different things. <clears throat> I would um, install new drivers or just try to update all the drivers you know do all the things and nothing would work at first i thought it was a bluetooth problem and then i tried uh my usb headset and i was thinking like oh that would just fix it well, thank goodness for that but it didn't because on the, on the usb headset it would start exhibiting the same behavior and uh that just was not good <laughs> So let's see what we can make here. Are we getting warmed up? How are we doing? Okay, we're getting we're getting into the warm zone. All right, let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to drop a potato in here real quick. See how that does. The potatoes will warm us up too. That's one nice thing about the potatoes. And while that's cooking, let me just check. I probably have to break down. Not break down. Uh, sorry, my brain is a little fried today because I've been working on this computer all day and getting it ready. And I must be low on rose hips and the like. And I don't know why I just did that because I'm not going to drink the reishi tea. I'm going to keep that. <clears throat> so 
We'll just warm up a little bit here. And it's getting warmer out already. So, just wait for this. We'll eat this. We'll get a warm buff from the potato. Get some calories. And tell you what, let's make one more. 48 minutes. Now I want to make a little bit more water. Thirty-four minutes. Let's add a little bit more fuel. And the weather is already behaving as expected in Interloper. My mouse, you know, to excuse, I'm going to have to adjust the mouse sensitivity again. It's pretty high and I I'm just trying to lower that down a little bit. Let's see if that makes a difference. I don't want to be jerking the screen around too much. All right, we might as well grab another torch. And let's just head out this way. Uh, most likely I may not hit the cattails, the, there's, there's a bunch of cattails on the other side over there. Uh, I mean, I believe it's over there, the frozen uh, stream is over that way, I, I believe, by the birch forest. And I may need to adjust my volume. Maybe it's okay for everyone listening, but for me it seems kind of loud my headset. So there's more tweaking to do. So we'll see how things go. I'm going to run because it's windy and it's slow and there's the bear right there. We don't smell but the bear is making it difficult for me to get over to that barn. He's going so close to the barn. Maybe there isn't a reason, but well, we'll see. Now, my friend Pest Seven Eight Nine is going to chastise me for that. Please be gentle, sir. <laughs> uh... He, he's been very, very helpful in helping me become better at playing this. And looks like that wasn't worth anything. I could have easily been knocked down by that bear and just almost left for dead. So that was not a good uh, decision. It was not a good decision. So uh, I'm going to try to come this way a little bit here. <clears throat> I'm going to run. I don't need to keep these torches lit, per se. Well, I should, but... Okay, I just want to come in through here and see if I can grab some birch bark along the way. How are we doing on our warm buff? That's going pretty good. Okay, we got some birch bark here. my condition up. I, just, I ran into that barn because I, based on experience, I know he's not going to do anything in there, even if, he try, even if he gets in there a little bit like he just did. So that's what I was banking on. I was trying to just beat him in there. So, it, it's looking like we're going to have a blizzard coming our way here. And the cattails I was speaking of is over across this bridge, and 
just really over that way. Um, so that was our warm buff. Our warm buff's pretty good. I don't think we need to go into the, that barn to uh, warm up. Uh, there's a blizzard coming this way, I think, so I don't think we'll be able to hang out and get cattails so much. Uh, I'll just try to grab a few here. Let's see if I can get out of here quickly. And another player showed me if you're watching as I'm walking, and if I stop first and then you gotta watch the, to drop the, ca here. the calorie uh, drain. See if I run up to this, it's it's going to, or if I walk up to, to each thing and I start harvesting something, it's going to keep two uh, drain arrows down. If I stop though before I start harvesting something, then it's going to be okay. Oh, making my head feel thick. See now I'm walking. There's two. I stop and then I harvest. And there's only one. So we grab this one. I just missed it. All right, let's get moving. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to take a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be too bad. Wait, I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. I do need to get a lot more stuff to make teas. <clears throat> Been trying to decide on our main base where that's going to be. Some players choose not to even have a main base. They will just establish like a central location uh, in each region, but they don't necessarily have a main base. There's a lot of people. There's a wolf there. Let's keep our distance. There's a lot of potatoes to cook, so I think I'm not going to continue on to Coastal Highway just yet because of what this weather's doing, and it's already midday. So I think what we're going to do is first going <coughs> to get into the community center and cook all of our potatoes. I'm just trying to see if there's a wolf hanging around here or not. I can try to avoid him, in case he is. I haven't been down here yet. Let's check this. On lower difficulties, you can find, uh, oh, an insulated flask. Now, my friend who has been commenting has been encouraging me to just retry the use of the insulated flask because he assures me that it's a game changer. Just not worry about um, the fact that it doesn't last that long as it should in real life. Because, frankly, uh, if the insulated flask is inside the backpack, which ideally has other things around it, uh, it shouldn't degrade that fast. But he's encouraged me to just stop thinking about that and then start using it so yeah, so we're in here we're going to I'm gonna try to keep this mouse as smooth as possible let me see if I can adjust this real quick this is kind of annoying me I'm gonna pause the recording and and then see if I can make this better hang on okay I think I've made it better it feels better it feels like it's not as sensitive Okay, well, we're going to make as many potatoes as we can. Yes, even this is... Okay. I just have to get used to it. I don't want it too sensitive because I don't want it messing with people when they're trying to watch this. Okay. 
I wish you would have found a skillet in here. That would have been nice. Yeah, I gotta get used to this mouse. It, it'll take a little bit. You know, when you re, when you back up everything and you reinstall <clears throat> your operating system and everything, there's there's quite a bit to do. Uh, Windows turned out pretty well. Ten did not seem. Let me get rid of this. Windows Ten did not seem to have a, a basic. Um, driver for my Wi-Fi adapter, which is really weird. Can I place potatoes directly on the cooking? Oh, I can. Beautiful. I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Apologies again, I'm just trying to get used to the mouse so my movement is not as precise yet. on here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... And I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, save the forage for, I guess, 48 minutes there and 52 minutes on there, so it does take longer to cook on there. I'm gonna see if we can break down. 45 minutes to break that down, one hour. Okay. That should be good. And our potatoes should be ready. Three minutes still ready. We'll cook this guy. Cooking is level two, which means we can make bannocks if we can find a skillet. Haven't come across one yet, though. That one's good. Cook this. I would like to spend a lot of time <clears throat> in a base with uh, six cooking slots. I might just, I might just try Pleasant Valley. I've actually never tried Pleasant Valley as a main base. It's always been Mystery Lake. Um, so we'll see. Okay, that's about it. So we can put some water down here. Some of that. That potato's cooked. 38 minutes, 50. And do I have an extra uh, can somewhere? Do I have one? I don't think I've dropped a can in here, and I don't think there's an extra one. Oh, I missed all these right here. Check that out. wonder if there's anything in here. Okay, how many cattails did I get? 13? Not bad. Not bad. I do have some birch bark, so while these are cooking, I can break... I can craft those. That's the word I was thinking of. Use the word. I need Use to find the words. Food. So I can make some good teas here. We got that. That's done. How much time we got? 18 minutes left, huh? 13. We do have plenty of water right now. So I'm thinking of making the Pleasant Valley Farmstead actually my main base. I've never used it as a main base before. It, it's always been a base for this region. Yeah, see, this is what I'm having problems with. So when I do this, the mouse slows down quite a bit, see? And then when I move then, and I'm thinking it's going to be the same thing, it, it's kind of jerky. So this is like slower. And then the, this is faster, so that's what's kind of messing me up a little bit. I'm going to have to try and figure that out. Because this is a new Steam install, it's a new everything install, basically, so... Yeah. Okay. All, the, all those potatoes are cooked. Yeah, 
it seems like like this is fine I don't mind this but this is what messes me up it's like I gotta move the mouse farther to get the same motion so I gotta I gotta find out what's going on with that I don't understand it okay so I think that's what I'm gonna do because Pleasant Valley Farmstead has everything we need. It has a workbench, beds, fireplace. Uh, it has six uh, place uh, cooking, six place cooking spot stove. So that's good. How heavy are we anyway? No, we're not even that heavy. We're just tired. That's all. Even with all these potatoes we're carrying. Okay, so it's almost dark. Um, Let's see what else we can do to try and kill some time that we need to do. Let's check. Yeah, this mouse movement too here. It's like the game mouse movement is good, but then even like in the inventory, it's slower. I have to. I'm actually having to move this quite a bit. I mean, you can't really appreciate it on that side. So let's let's repair these. This is our new wool socks? We actually have two wool socks now. I still hear the wind going pretty good. Let's sort by quality. Uh, I don't believe I have any leather in here. Um, should I repair the jeans? I'm not going to spend a cloth on the jeans. And usually when something gets below 80%, I like to repair it. So I think we're just going to leave that as it is. Anything else we have to do? Nope. Okay, so what we can do is we can break down some wood. I don't know how cold it is outside. I'm wondering if we can break down a, a tree limb or something. I don't see any wolves around. We do not stink. Did I see one over there? Sometimes there can be one right over there by the store. That's a store over there. That's what it's called. It's not a. I was calling it a garage, but huh? In the story mode, we have to gather a whole bunch of wood and, and bring it in here for everybody. I broke down all those benches over there, and that's what I did <laughs> to bring a whole bunch of wood in. Hey, it did the job. <laughs> so. Might play that story mode again. Actually, okay, let's let's uh, get some food in us here. We are going to be going to bed soon, so just trying to decide what to eat. I guess we'll just eat potatoes. I guess. Okay, and then we'll, we'll eat more before we go to bed. So then the plan is in the morning, we're just going to head back to Coastal Highway. And then... Oh, I, I forgot to make some teas. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to expend a match and just make a little bit of tea. Because I need to get this condition. I want this condition to accelerate. Wait, do we have... we have an herbal tea. Okay, so, tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the match, and then we're gonna drink the herbal tea right before we go to bed, so that's what we'll do. Yeah, it's bedtime now. Oh, wow. I was just looking out my window, it's really dark out here, this... still, it's like only about 6 p.m.? What was I doing? I was about to sleep. I have to pay attention. I usually do these uh, games in the morning when my brain is fresh. <laughs> Since I've been working on things and trying to figure things out all day, I'm, I feel like I'm a little slower. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so eating. Yes, focus on eating. And I also do not recommend 
drinking beer or wine or whatever, and then trying to play interloper, because you're going to get a little careless. You're going to get a little reckless. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> uh, done it. I mean, it was fun, but, you know. Okay, let's grab this. I'm not thirsty. I have to wait, which is fine, because, you know, we'll get get more sleep that way anyway. Or we'll get closer to the morning is what I mean. What I meant by that. Okay. I think I need to lay down. Yep, we're gonna lay down now. I hope all the storms and everything are done and we get a break and then, yep, there's a blizzard, I can hear it now. Okay, let's, I'm gonna eat this last potato. Drink this. That is morning. It is daylight time, so I don't think there's anything else that we're gonna do here. I mean, we're not looking too bad. Man, we don't have any coats still. We haven't found any coats. That's that's kind of hurting us a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna break down some curtains. Get, get the light to show itself here. I'm going to wait a little bit. Okay. Got the light to show itself. We are not heavy, but we're going to be heavy heading back to um, Coastal Highway. A little bit since I've decided to make Pleasant Valley Farmstead, that my hesitation for making Pleasant Valley Farmstead is I don't like the long walk uh, to the... Um, I do not like the long walk to the fishing hut. I just don't. I mean, Mystery Lake... It's a long walk, too. It may be close to the same amount of distance, technically, to the nearest fishing hut from the Mystery Lake camp office as as it is here in this region from Pleasant Valley Farmstead to the fishing hut here. So there, there's, there can be a wolf hanging around here. Most likely, most of the time, I was going to say there, there are. There is a wolf over here, so I'm just trying to keep a good distance here. Okay. Alright, let's go. I do have to pick up more sticks. I use a lot of sticks. It's already getting a little warmer out. I only have two uh, draining arrows on my uh, <clears throat> my temperature. And now I got three. I think if I walk closer to the edges here, it's supposed to help. I don't know. Maybe it isn't. Maybe that's only in a storm. So on the way back, we gotta have to go this long way because I mean we don't have. A pickaxe to uh, cli a climbing axe, I should say, to climb up <laughs> the side over there. So my fingers feel numb. We are most likely going to run into a wolf, and this is what I'm prepared for. I was almost going to light the torch just to be safe, but I hear a deer. There's the deer. Okay. Now the wolf is usually hanging around up here. They can be kind of walking around over there. Uh, Die if I don't warm up soon. Just trying to keep in the close eye. There's some mushrooms up there. I think I'm gonna grab those. Can be a wolf just 
come on. Right, of, you know, hiding right across the other side of that hill. I'm hoping not. <laughs> One of the players I watch, uh, Zach, I believe he's in uh, Norway, he, he's on his interloper run, I think he's on, I think he's in the hundreds now, like a day 130 or something like that. Uh, he was in an Aurora, and he was walking around telling a story, he had a torch, but uh, I think it was, I think between the Aurora sounds and the fact that he's talking like I am, and that's why it's difficult to, it's difficult to do this. It's difficult to keep narrating what you're doing, narrating what you're thinking, trying to organize your thoughts, uh, grabbing the right words, speaking clearly, and all that. It, it's a... Uh, Pretty difficult. It's not. It's not. It's not that easy. But I'm growing in skill sets with this because I also do engineering, uh, tech engineering uh, videos on a on a separate channel that I have. And part of my motivation for doing these videos is to get better at that. Get better at concentrating intensely on something and trying to narrate it and trying to tell us a story, keep people entertained. And that takes a little bit. The multitasking, right? No, I want this. All right. All right, we made it here. We didn't take much damage. I really should get in the habit of warming up teas and carrying them with me. That's something that I need to do. Now the thing is, we're going to pick up plenty of coal in the uh, transition cave from Crumbling Highway to Desolation Point. So we're going to have as much we're going to have plenty of coal for what we need. So I'm not going to bring I'm not going to take a whole lot of coal from here. The rest all of this coal is really going to go over to Pleasant Valley Farmstead, uh, but I am going to take this pack is getting kind of heavy. All the scrap metal. So how much? I have four pieces of coal. That's plenty for uh, what we got going on. Uh, can I? I'm going to turn off my lamp real quick because I have a glare. <clears throat> I might not have to expend a match here. Let me see. Okay, that's better. <coughs> so, I don't know if everyone else can see this, but I can see where I'm going just fine. So, yeah, it doesn't look like I'll have to expend a match, which is great. Put the torch down. We looted this place pretty good I, on the way in, so I'm not going to be searching for anything, and we're just going to get through it. Still haven't found a bedroll yet. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll just make the knife and the hatchet and the arrowheads, and then we'll come back to... Is there a... I'm trying to think, is there a workbench? Is there a workbench in Desolation Point? There has to be. Yes, there is one in the Hibernia processing facility. Also, another player commented and told me that there's another area in the Hibernia processing facility that I was not aware of that we can get some loot. And he was saying, uh, walk up this pipe. And I thought he was talking about the ledge, you know, from the office there where the corpse is. And, and he's at the end of that uh, ledge. And So I've always known he's there. 
but I'm not quite sure. I'm, I've been racking my brain. I'm not quite sure what pipe he's talking about. So uh, I don't think there's a fire pit in here. I was thinking of making uh, some birch bark tea. I don't think we have a fire pit in here, and I don't think because this counts as indoors. Yeah. So I don't think we can. So we can't make a fire in here. So, what is the safest route to the garage? Well, I think what I'm going to do is just head down. I haven't been down. And we could go straight back that way. But I haven't been down here. There's a trailer down this way. I'm going to go down go check out. So I haven't been down here yet. So I'm just trying to maximize... Uh, my time and and hit as many places on the way to what I need, I need to, to find do some here. Place so. To escape this cold. so we're gonna uh, come in here. We'll probably yeah, we're just gonna sleep an hour inside this trailer to warm up because I don't have a bedroll. If I had a bedroll, I would have just slept in that cave for like an hour. But yeah, Zach got jumped by an Aurora Wolf, and he almost died on his run. <laughs> and he does things pretty recklessly. He's very good with his bow. Too cold to think. All right, let's get in here. We're starting to take some damage already. Hey, all right. Yep, haven't been in here yet. We got a candy bar. Got a couple containers. We got some leather. I don't know what these people do without music. I have to tell you guys. So when I was in... You can always use more food. Yeah, that's good. When I was in Army basic training in 1996, I had no idea uh, what the withdrawal from music and then and then listening to my quote Walkman again. Uh, some of you don't even know what a Walkman is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I. It was a Sunday during boot camp and it was kind of near the end so we had we had more freedom we weren't being uh, watched so very closely and everything and uh, so it was a Sunday I was doing laundry there were no drill sergeants inside the barracks and I knew where my stuff was uh, what that I came in with because they confiscate everything right and you can't have anything so you can't even you know so I had a Walkman that I came in with and of course you know they take all of that and everything <clears throat> And uh, then I got my Walkman out, and so I'm like, well, I'm just going to try and sneak and listen to some music. And I have to tell you, it's like, you know, it, it, it's kind of like in, in this game, if it were like, you know, just eating cattails for like months, right? And then all of a sudden you get like your favorite kind of pizza. And you're just like, oh, this is so good, you know, because you've been deprived of it. And the music, it just felt so intense. It felt so... And it was the Oasis uh, band, the uh, Wonderwall. And you know, I, I just had a, a tape of theirs with me. And so I was just listening to that and it was just, it was, I, it was just incredible. Because you've been deprived of it. And uh, if you've never been deprived of music in your life for an extended period of time, and then you listen to one of your favorite songs again. It's just magical. It really, really is. Okay, let's be careful. We do not stink, so they have that to our advantage. How are we doing on temperature? I think we're fine to make it to the garage. It's not that windy either. 
and I'm trying to conserve matches, so I'm not going to expend one just yet. Just keeping, keeping scanning of the area. Wow, we're already 40 minutes into this. I want to get to the Riken. Look at all that wolf meat out there. We can't eat it yet, though. Like I said, it's cool when you get cooking skill level 5 because the, your uh, food just comes to you. It's too bad that the wolf meat is the lowest calories, though. Oh, with cooking skill level 5, it, it, I, I believe the what the highest calorie count per kilo is 875, I think, on cooking skill level 5 for a wolf meat. And, uh, I, believe mo I believe moose is the highest uh, concentration of calories. Yeah, those wolves out there are just hanging out. So the long-term plan is to get the hatchet, make the hatchet and the knife, and then I'm just keeping an eye on that wolf, and then um, stop at, uh, stop in the garage, grab some things, and then head to our main base in Pleasant Valley, get settled in the Pleasant Valley farmstead. Then uh, we're gonna... Should we head to... Question, should we head to... At that point, should we head to Mystery Lake? Carter Dan, Mystery Lake, try to get a bedroll? Or... Should we head to... Ash Canyon and Timberwolf uh, Summit? Not sure what we should do. We can do either one. I mean, we're gonna have our bow. I think I'm gonna bring what I need to craft the bow. And uh, I'm gonna bring some birch saplings that are cured with us. And then I think I'm, we're just gonna Can't make, my hands. after we make the hatchet and the knife and the riken, Okay, let's, I need to focus here. I don't want to keep telling a story or keep talking and not focus on knowing where these, or keeping an eye on where these wolves are. Okay, so I'm not seeing one. I'm gonna get a better view, come up here. Don't see a wolf. Yeah, the, this garage, if it wasn't for the concentration of predators in this area, this garage would make a fantastic base. But it's just too, it's just too dangerous, too cumbersome. So, and I've never used, like I said, I've never used Pleasant Valley uh, <clears throat> Farmstead as my main base, so yeah, we didn't, didn't have to expend a match. And we did not take any damage. Nice. Alright, so we're here. Um, let's see what we're going to bring with us. Yep. Uh, some of these aren't quite cured yet, but... Okay, so I'm wondering... Well, it doesn't matter how many arrowheads I'm going to make. I just need to get... Let's see. Three, six and nine. How about that? We'll make nine arrows. Oh, we can make some, uh, yeah, before we go, we should, we should do some crafting. Hmm. So, we might not head to Coastal Highway just yet because I, let's see. Do I only have one deer hide? Is that the only deer hides I have? Huh, okay. So, how many rabbit? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're one short. I could eat a horse. So, let's take a look at what we should make. We could make the mittens. 
or the rabbit skin hat. Hmm. I think I'll just make the mittens. Let's drop. Yeah, so let's drop these two. Got some guts here. Oh, that gu Oh, maybe we won't be doing a lot of crafting here. Oh man, how long do these guts take? Five days? Huh. Let's see, that one's that one's done. This one's done. This one's done. So we're good to make the. Okay, so. This one's done. How many guts do we need for the mittens? Let me take a look. I can't really s see my keyboard, so I'm having a look down. Um, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for what we need to make. <clears throat> so we need two guts for the mittens, and we need two guts uh, for the uh, for the bow. So here. Uh, Oh, 97% cured. Well, it'll be done. We'll, we'll bring this with us. It'll be done curing. We'll, we'll put it down and it'll be done curing by the time we're done making the hatchet and the knife. So, Okay, let's see what our food level is. I don't want to get the star mode while, while we're making the hatchet. Or I'm sorry, while we're making the mittens. another can. We'll just drink this, get some calories out of that guy. And we'll eat this. Yeah, so Pleasant Valley Farmstead. Like once we get there with the bow, I mean it's just, what should we do? You know, I mean because uh, there's a chance that Spelunker's Lantern will be over in um, Oops, excuse me. Do I have I didn't pick the guts up? There, let's get the let's get let's get the mitts going here, so yeah, five hours, yeah, so we'll just sleep here. Um Yeah, so Spelunkers could be on this run it could be it could be in Keeper's Pass, uh, south. Uh in the between the north and south uh area in the ice cave there. Uh it wasn't there in my last run. But it has been there in two other runs that I did on uh, Interloper. So and, you know, it's not not that far from the uh, the farmstead. So there's that as an option. Oh, let's put our mittens on, shall we? Mittens. Yep. A little better. And put the. Where did, I, where did it go? Clothing. Yeah. I'm going to put the shoes in here too. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to do another video in the evening again. I just like doing them in the morning. My mind is, my mind is fresh. Okay, so... Yeah, it's almost time for bed. Um, we're not going to be that tired. So we got three birch saplings, so we can make... Tell you what, since we're sleeping here, I might as well just... Yeah, there's my cured maple sapling. <laughs> so that one cured while we were just... Uh... While we were just making... This one's not cured. While we were making the rabbit skin mittens. So that'll be, that'll be cured by morning, but it's okay, because we don't need it right now. Um... So what I can do, maybe I can get a head start and make, um, so where's, why can't I make the arrow shaft? What am I looking for? Oh, I can't even make the arrow shafts because I don't have one of these guys. I have none of them. Yeah, so I can't even get a head start on that quite yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll eat and sleep, and then we'll get up and we'll make some teas. 
by the time we're done making teas, then we'll head to Coastal Highway. All right, so let's eat. <clears throat> now, do we have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have antibiotics, so, and I, I do have some, tell you what, before we eat, let's make some mushrooms. Now, what I don't understand about this game is that, you know, sometimes, you know, when you when you click on the workbench, if you notice, like, the reishi mushrooms didn't come up. It's like, no, you can't craft those at the workbench. You can only craft them out in the open. But that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, maybe someone can explain that. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's eat this. Might get food poisoning again. Nope. I mean, if we do, then we'll wake up closer to morning anyway, so I'm not I'm not that concerned about it. Another thing I was thinking of, <clears throat> when it comes to food poisoning, does the game just decide that as a function of the the point in time that you're eating something? Or is it an attribute of the actual item itself? Like, you know... This item, or this food item is 19%, for example, and if anybody eats any of it at all, then you're going to get food poisoning. Versus, oh, I'm just going to do a random calculation based on probability and stuff like that every time you eat something of a lower quality and then do that, and it's not an attribute of the actual thing there. So, yeah, that's something I don't know. Now we got an Aurora, so we could do some crafting now if we want to. See, if I look at this, I think it gets better over time. Huh. Alright, um, I want to make some teas. Yeah, we need to kill some time. Tell you what, since as we can see, and I have the hammer with me, I can break some of the stuff down and kill some time that way. I still want to make some teas, but, you know. Nothing hidden behind these crates. There should be something else we can break down. Any other wood? Is that it for wood in here? There's not going to be a wood in there. No stools or anything? I mean, there's cardboard. Got all this stuff to make tinder. I think that's it for wood in here, actually. Alright, so... I'm just going to drop the wood right here. We don't need to bring all this wood with us. There we go. Okay, well, let's make a fire. And yeah, let's cook it now. Let's cook the teas now, and then. Oh, wait. Uh, did I craft? Yeah, I crafted the teas. I mean, the, uh, the mushrooms. Where am I at here? Must be in here. Yeah, okay. So we can make two reishis or t or three uh, two reishis and three birch corks, and we have another reishi tea right here. So, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Just get those, just get them made. Probably since we're going to be making teas, we'll probably just uh, make some more water too, because I don't think I stored any water in here. Level 5 fire starting is really nice, because <laughs> it just it goes a lot faster, it doesn't take as long. Oh, no, 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 we just want to kill the torch, there you go. <laughs> Alright, too much stuff to carry. Let's go on a little bit. Okay, a couple more. Yeah, 
see I'm still getting used to the mechanics of the mouse here. Okay. Now, uh, birch bark. What are we, how are we doing on water? Yeah. These teas are gonna uh, consume a bunch of our water. So. Six minutes. Let's put. Uh, yeah, we'll make two liters there. It'll be fine. Yeah. A little bit more water. How is our weight? Our weight. Our weight's pretty good. Yeah, see, we only have that much water left. And I think... I think the music is always the same tune, just a piano, right? Basically. I can't tell if there's another instrument in the background or not. I'm not a music major. Or I wasn't one, I should say. I tell you, the music majors at universities, though, they have to work really, really hard. I dated a music major in college once, and I just couldn't believe like how much stuff she had to do. It's crazy. Music theory. <clears throat> she had this class called oral skills, like A spelled A U R A L. Basically, the course is can you just by listening to the music can you re recreate the notes, you know, of, of the melody and everything. You know, can you do that? <laughs> I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Okay, he's getting a little heavy now, but that's okay. Alright, so we're gonna... See, I'll test my theory. I shouldn't get food poisoning with this. Okay. Maybe that was a reckless test. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we we have a bunch of porridge we can make, so I'm not I'm not that concerned about food at this time because we got two things there, so yeah, I'm not not concerned. But we're gonna go to bed. We're gonna sleep a couple hours here. <coughs> I'm hoping the weather will behave and it'll be a little warmer out. So, okay. And I have to remember to start using that insulated flask. I keep forgetting about it now because I've just I've just kind of put it in my mind, but I'm trying to remember. So, I think we have everything we need. I'm trying to get that. I shouldn't be checking my inventory out here. <laughs> there. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't need all these. Just drop those. Leave them here. We'll clean them up later. Yeah, it's getting a little windy. <clears throat> right, let's get moving. Looks fairly safe, but that can be very deceiving. 
in this area right here. It's a concentrated area, as you can see, the visibility is not good. A wolf can be right or on the other side there, or right over there. You know, and it's just not good. So, let's get moving. Getting pretty windy. I could probably take a shortcut on the lake. I call it a lake. <laughs> it's not a lake, but... Is that a wolf out there? Yeah, that's a wolf out there. So I'm just going to continue along the road here. I'm going to try to give that wolf a wider berth. There we go. Seems like he has a, a small patrol radius. He was going the other direction for a while, but... Come on, man, turn around. I'm just gonna crouch till he turns around. The wind, the wind died down, I think. Or maybe it's just because I'm crouched. Yeah, he's getting pretty close to the road. <coughs> Don't like that. Now oh, he's gonna howl. He should turn around after he's done howling. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna And he's oh, come on. Yeah. <sighs> so let me get the torch out just in case I wanna light it. If he comes out on the road, I'm just gonna throw a rock at him. Get him to go away. Not doing too well. So we're just gonna keep running. Hopefully he gives up pursuit. I'm cold anyway. I mean I could start a fire. Goddamn freezing. Warm up. Actually, why don't we just do that? Did he give up? Yeah, he gave up. But I still want to start a fire, I think. So why don't we start one right next to this? Uh, right over here. Let me give it some cover. I don't know if you guys noticed, but... Uh, sometimes when there's high winds and stuff like that, uh, you can actually see the snow like coming through a uh, solid rock. <laughs> it's just interesting. It's tough to recreate the laws of physics in a virtual world. There's a lot of code. <laughs> you know? You're not going to be able to recreate Come all on. laws of physics. Come on. It worked. I posted. Oh, I should put, put one piece of coal on there to get the temperature up. I didn't have to use the, the sticks per se, but let's uh, warm up. Actually, I don't even need to. No, let's place these on here. Let's see, birch bark. So I think I only have one reishi, right? Not Rishi, uh, uh, Rose Hips, I'm thinking of. So. Let's drink that. Just to give us another buff and keep our condition going. Uh, and I'll just grab. Since I got a lot of. Yeah, okay. Got a lot of time left on this fire. I can be very picky. Let's see if I can get... Okay, that's good. And then we'll just grab one more. Oh, that was a good one. Alright. Let's get going. We have some warmth buff. We have some fire. The wind isn't bad. So I posted on LinkedIn... Um, 
just a warning, I, like I said, I've been in the tech industry for 25 years and I've been studying, now I've been studying data science and artificial intelligence and the more I've studied it, I just see, I, yeah, I just Something's don't think we've go. been, we've, I, I just don't think we as a human race have been um, smart about our implementation of social media. We tend to just plow ahead with things and without trying to understand the consequences of how it is affecting how we relate to each other, how we build relationships with each other, maintain those relationships and repair broken ones. It's. Um, it's caused quite an issue, social media, in that area of life. And along those same lines, I think we're going to plow ahead with artificial intelligence because it's going to make uh, businesses money. <laughs> and we're, n we're not going to uh, see the effects. So there's going to be... We don't know what all the effects are going to be once AI is really taking off. I'm very concerned about... Uh, it being a job destroyer, uh, there's a lot of benefits that can come from AI. There's a lot of good it can do. But our world isn't built like that in a way that we can just replace humans. Because our, our world economies rely on uh, consumer spending <clears throat> that has cascading effects on all these businesses. You definitely want a, a, a torch going through here because this is a choke point. As you can see, you can't really see anything. There's usually two wolves, and they can be constantly just hopping over these these things here. So this is a choke spot right here. It, it's it's not it's it's kind of dangerous. So. keep going here there there are other things to find here um, like you can go down the way a little bit and I, I believe there's a cave and there's some other things to kind of loot oh matches nice I got a note here matches in the car gotta love it I'm glad I checked the vehicle all right So anyway, I I think that AI is going to have more de devastating effects than we really think. We're going to be short-sighted. The businesses are going to be short-sighted. They say, oh, yeah, we can just get, eliminate these positions and we can increase our profits. And yeah, that'll be okay for a time, but I'll tell you what's going to happen. The humans are going to lose their buying power because we're just not they're not most of them are not going to be making as much money quite frankly and that's going to have an interesting effect on the economy because uh, it's not I get on this I usually go this way um, and then just head down over here Just a lot of jobs, I think, are just going to be gone, and it, it, it's going to make these businesses money. It's going to really increase their profits for a short time, but then eventually, uh, that's going to go down. How many? Uh, okay, we have two. I do need to get more of those things. Um, Lynchin, bearded Lynchin dressings. Oh, we got a container here. Oh no no no! I almost put that out. Oof, that was close. Gotta be careful with those torches and looting. You gotta get that mouse where it needs to be. So I was just telling people that, you know, save your money. Now is not the time in this world to, you know, just spend your money on things. Spend, spend, and whatever. It's time to save and it's time to invest in physical assets like uh, metals, you know, uh, silver, gold, and uh, real estate, if you can do that. So invest in those things. Don't 
don't invest in companies unless you are very very confident you know that, that they're gonna stay there I'm not a stock stock market guy I'm I'm, I'm not a guru in that at all <laughs> uh, barely a novice quite frankly but what I do know is uh, I've had a lot of conversations with people that manage that are financial managers basically and they're all telling me exactly what I'm telling you here and so just be smart save your money you know don't go don't go blowing it on things I know it I believe me I know I, I mean I love to my thing is vacations because I love to travel I love to experience other cultures go to other parts of the world I just took my wife and daughter to Europe for three weeks uh, last August and we visited family I didn't know I had in Sweden oh I've already looted this stuff okay and uh, we toured the Baltics and all that kind of stuff it was really cool so there's already coal inside the Riken I think I'm just going to bring this hammer with me. Because my friend in the comments told me that the hammer is actually the best weapon. I think it was the hammer. It may have been the hatchet. I don't know, it's one of those two, but I think it's the hammer. Uh, it's the best weapon against the wolves, I think. So... <clears throat> If you can spare the two kilos that the uh, uh, hammer weighs, then you'll be fine. How are we doing on coal? We have plenty of coal. I am not picking up anymore. <laughs> plenty of coal. We'll leave the rest here. And then we'll head to the Riken. Yeah, protect yourself, protect your families, save your money, invest in, uh, in physical assets. Singapore, I don't know if any of you saw, but Singapore has thought about all this already and they're spending a lot of money to retrain their citizens that are like, I think, 40 years and older in uh, new stuff. So that's the kind of forward thinking that we need. <clears throat> because I wrote that if we don't do this then we're just basically um, dooming ourselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's just concerning and a lot of people don't want to hear this. You know, they don't I don't want to hear it, <laughs> uh, but it's it's just it's reality and it's real. Yeah, come on. This can make gaming a lot more fun, <laughs> or a lot more frustrating, depending upon your perspective. <laughs> sure. That's what's so interesting about this game is because there's a lot to the game mechanics, right? You know, it's not like the linear games of the past, you know, where you're, you know, like non-open world, in, in other words, right? So this is kind of like Skyrim in a way, if you played Skyrim, except you don't have, uh, you don't have the messenger always finding you in random places. I've been looking for you. I've got something you're supposed to deliver. Your hands only. <laughs> uh... So hungry in my life. Skyrim came out uh, in 11-11-11. Uh, November 11th, 2011 is when Skyrim was released. And they still haven't released the next one. I'm really surprised by that. Because... <laughs> Because there's just, there's so much to that game. That game is a wonderful game. But 
they did the Elder Scrolls online. And I tried to play that, but I just did not like the graphics or and just how the game flowed and everything. I didn't like it. There's a big buck. There's his girlfriend. Yeah, so I suppose the Hibernia processing facility can be a, uh, we're gonna, Look at that. Look at that, that's hilarious. As soon as that wolf is done eating that deer, he's gonna kill that buck right away. That is hilarious. I tell you what, I'm gonna help that deer out. Run free, deer, run free. Oh well, he's doomed anyway. Uh, it's too bad I'm not ready to process deer and get a whole bunch of meat on me because I don't want to smell. We'll get plenty of deer later, you know. Plenty of deer later. Avoid the temptation. The temptation is hides and guts for me right now, and maybe some meat, you know. That's the temptation, but you gotta avoid it. You don't wanna... <clears throat> you don't wanna give in to that. So there's a chance we won't have to use a match to uh, light the forge here, which is nice. Let's use our torch. I think the bear is gonna be out. Yes, yeah, so I suppose you could use Hibernia for a uh, for a base. Actually, that's for this region. That's probably it, because I don't think I'd want to be in the Riken all the time. I mean, not that there's anything else. I don't think there's a no. There's no workbench in the Riken. I wonder if there's anything up over on that island. I could eat anything right now. But after we make the knife and hatchet, we're gonna head to Hibernia real quick, and uh, I'm just gonna make sure I don't run up on the bear here around the corner. Go a little wider. <laughs> Oh, I know I'm going to get crap for that bear almost jumping me there. <laughs> I mean, my condition was only 50%. It, was a, it wasn't it was a smart thing to do. See, that that's the temptation I was talking about, right? I was tempted to... I've already looked there. I was tempted to uh, <clears throat> to see what's in that barn. Right? So... We're almost running low on food. Get a cattail real quick. Cause I need to get the forage going, and then we'll make some. Uh... I brought the pot, didn't I? Oh, thank God. <laughs> then I we looted these. I don't remember if we checked everywhere. And I don't think I had a light with me at all. So maybe I did. I don't remember. Okay. All right, so what you want to do, I probably am, I probably am going to use a a torch because I, I do want some more, I mean, a, a match to light the forge because I do want some more metal. And, uh, <coughs> oops, and, um, 
We don't want the torch, or, or excuse me, we don't want the, the fire burning there. Just uh, while we're spending time breaking down scrap metals. So, trying to find the inventory, okay. And then I'm just gonna drop all my coal here. I'll, I'll pick up other coal and we're, head, we're headed out. <coughs> Oh, here's some antibiotics that I missed. I'll go upstairs real quick. No, I did have a torch in here, I remember, when I was in here. Because... I remember because as soon as I exited out, it blew out right away. It was so windy, so... Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in here because everything's all slanted and everything. Just kind of messes with you. Okay, so... We have... I believe 10. Yeah, so we can make at the most four arrowheads. That is not good enough. That is not good enough to get us started. So I'm going to douse this and we're going to break down these things while we still have light. That'll be good. So that'll give us, let's see, so that'll be 10 uh, scrap metal for arrowheads, which will be 20 arrowheads, which will be plenty. Oh no, I lost my well fed. Dang it. Oh well. Uh not paying attention. I need to drop something. Not paying attention. Oh well. So goes life. I'm usually pretty good at that, but I'm just I'm just too focused on <coughs> Checking, checking this box. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That did it. Yeah, it did. Need something to eat. We'll get you something to eat, dude. Alright, now that's there. The rest. Alright. And some more. It is now time to make porridge. Water. <clears throat> I have to make more water too, because the uh, porridge takes some. I hope. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I have cloth on me. <laughs> I got scared for a second because <clears throat> I wonder if I made the same mistake on another run where I got to the forge and I realized I didn't have any cloth on me. That has happened to me just. It happened to me one time. You know. Yeah. That's the thing about this game. There's just so many things to keep track of. That's what makes it so interesting. Alright.
All right, so we're pretty good with that. We do need some more water. Let's just make one liter. Okay, that's good. So now we're gonna get the furnace up to, yeah, that's good for now. And now it's time to make what we came come here to make. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. Yeah, you won't faint. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get our well fed back before we know it. So. Okay, so that's made. Uh, let's go ahead and make the hatchet now. Drained. Always got to keep an eye on the the uh, the amount of time that's left here on your fire, because what would really suck is when it goes out and you're not paying attention to it, then you got to get that all the way back up to 200 again if you want to do something. All right, so now we're in the arrowhead business. We have our knife and our hatchet. And what I usually do is I fill this up to uh, two liters because it's gonna take two hours, one hour to melt, one hour uh, to boil, which means you got two hours, which means one hour here, I can do four arrowheads, then I'll get water. Do it again. And then we'll make some more porridge. We'll make four more arrowheads, then we'll make some more porridge. Got three hours left. some more, make some porridge, <coughs> I have an idea for Hinterland, they did a really, for Halloween, they did a really good job with Dark Walker, what would be really interesting is if uh, they come up with some kind of a haunted game where the corpses come to life and they start trying to come after you or something. You know. <laughs> That'd be really cool. And then you gotta maybe they're ghosts or something or whatever and you have to do something, right, to you know, maybe get them to stop and go away. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's keep making some porridge here. Let's see this. up our cooking skills, which is great. Keep increasing that. Alright, then after this we'll uh, get back to the arrowhead business. How are we doing? Oops, that's not what I wanted there. So that's done. And how are we doing on water? Well, let me put that back there. Let's get another two liters. 
Got that, that, we're good. Actually, let's drink, and then we'll make four more arrowheads. That, four arrowheads. I hear a blizzard outside. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, we're not gonna need to make any more. Okay, we have three hours there. So let's see what we have left. We got four scrap metal we can make. So we have four more hours. I'm just going to do four hours. And we are done. How many torches we have? Let's... I'm going to... Go to some of these sticks. Get some torches. And get us down to 20. And we can be picky. We can be picky of our torches. Surprised that guy doesn't catch on fire. Ah, let's be picky. <laughs> Man, we are not getting... There, that's a good one. Good one. Good one. Uh, that. It's getting down low, so... Uh, no, 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 come on. Ah, uh, well. What time of day is it? It's getting nighttime, so... Alright. <coughs> gonna head upstairs. I'm gonna go to bed. So give me... Four more pieces of coal. Let's get going here. He's heavy because we lost our well-fed and we're extremely tired. So we'll come up here. Bed there. Yep. Right now, we're going to do our fill up as much as we can. So we won't be that heavy, especially after we wake up and we fill up on water. Okay, let's go to bed. And the last thing I'm going to do is head over to the Hibernia facility. We're still in Aurora. Not finishing that. Oh, we have cabin fever risk. <laughs> but this is not a cabin. Butter up up up. Now I don't want to go out in this Aurora. <clears throat> I have no weapons. But we should be okay. Because we'll just wait. Let's check the view. We're safe up here on the ship. Is the bear out? I don't see the bear out. Hmm. All right, well, <clears throat> we're gonna go back inside. We're just gonna pass time a little bit. One hour. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's get outside. I think it's windy. <laughs> How do you like that? We go from an aurora to a blizzard. 
right? Now, yeah, so the... Okay. So, we gotta go this way. Isn't that something? An aurora to a blizzard, how about that? Real quick, Aurora to Blizzard, like immediately. Okay, I think I'm getting a little bit lost, quite frankly. that bridge. So I must have went too far left. Come on, keep going. find out where this pipe is that this guy's talking about. What pipe are we talking about? I mean, I mean, it's not this pipe, is it? He said go up a pipe. I mean, I've, I've, I've gone over here. I've already looted this. Do I see? Oh, is that that pipe right there? That one? Maybe it's that one. This pipe? It said go up a pipe. Oh. This this way, probably. Can I stand up once I'm in here? No, I can't. It won't let you. So we have to wait. So apparently there's some loot up here. I have never Whoa. I have never been up here. I haven't been up here on any run I've ever done in this whole game. I think there's what is that? Isn't that like, oh, that's a broken can, that's a crushed can, that's not going to be anything. Got a book. Some antibiotics. Is, it, is that? Oh, no, that, that's just a break in the, or is it? I was going to say, that, that kind of looked like a fire striker to me. But yeah, he's like, oh, you forgot to go up there. And I'm sitting here thinking, I didn't forget. I never knew it was there. Never. Wow. That's pretty cool. All right, everyone. Uh, I'm going to exit out and exit back in. We're at time. Or actually, we're pretty well over time. Give me a door here. Come on. 
So I'm going to exit out and come back in because I just looted that. And I don't think... Oh, I didn't even grab this stuff either. Okay. Come on. Let's exit out and exit back in. Alright, all right, everyone, thanks for bearing with me here with my new setup and everything. Uh, as soon as we're done, we're going to craft uh, some arrows and uh, the bow, and then we're going to head back. Alright, have a good evening, everybody. Take care.